Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Etsuki 2. This is my second channel. My main channel is Etsuki Tutorials. So this channel is basically where I'm going to do a bunch of kind of let's play-ish videos. This isn't really a let's play. Um, but my main channel is where I do a bunch of tutorials on how to make games inside of the Unity 3D Engine, which is a free program which this game was made inside of. Which, well, I guess this game was made with the pro version of Unity, whereas the basic version of Unity is still really cool. So definitely check that out if you're interested in making your own video game for free on both PC and Mac. So yes, um, in this episode, I wanted to uh, go inside of this game uh, made by Massive Black Studios called Mothhead and point out all of the volumetric lighting effects and volumetric shader effects because they just simply look so awesome in this game and that's pretty much all I wanted to do is just point out how awesome they look and how much detail are in them. So here is probably the best example, or not the best, but a blatant example of volumetric lighting. So you can see the rays of light and my nose is tingling and I'm about to sneeze except I'm not. Ah, I hate that. Do you ever get that where your nose tingles? and you don't sneeze, but that's not relating to video games, so I'm going to shut up and go back to the volumetric lighting. So this volumetric lighting simply looks awesome, and all of these rays are calculated and um, based on uh, meshes that intersect uh, between the camera and the light source. And I believe this is a Unity Pro feature, I want to say. Like, I don't know. I'm... I think it's a Unity Pro feature. I don't know that 100% 100% for sure. But yes, so it looks as though the volumetric lighting takes into consideration the meshes in your level and creates the volumetric lighting out of that and produces rays of light and looks really cool. But what is even cooler is just how detailed this volumetric lighting is. Like let's see. Yes, yes. Here's a good example. Let me get a better that's not a better view. It's a terrible view. Alright. Let's see if... Alright, this is the trickiest part, is finding... You can kind of see it, but I want you to see it better. What I'm trying to show is that... Okay, so this plant that I'm trying to... Uh, bad camera. This plant that I'm trying to focus on right here... If you were to take the textures off of this plant, it would look all... flat, I guess. There, it would just look like a bunch of weird like leaves with absolutely no detail and they would all just be kind of flat looking and they would look more like like 2d planes that were kind of bent i guess it would look more like it was like you took a green piece of paper and you folded it and cut it and just like general like origami it would look more like so that would be the geometry of this plant and then they used a um well, I don't know exactly which shader they use, but if this is one of the Unity default shaders, it's probably most definitely uh, Transparent Cutout Diffuse, is my best guess. Um, so that means that all of the detail and all the little, like, frills or all the little hairs and or I don't know what the different parts of the plants, all the ferns? I don't know. But all of the different little detail -y parts of all of these different things protruding out of the plant are in a texture, um, so they aren't actually in the geometry of the mesh. But if I get the volumetric lighting on it, actually, I think there's a better example if I fly up here, I think is where I saw it originally. Yes, so as you can see, rays are coming out in between all of these little, uh, little leaves and hairs and all the little like details of the texture and it's basing it off of the texture and not necessarily the mesh. So I don't know if the volumetric lighting only looks at the displayed texture or if it takes the mesh into consideration too, but I just wanted to point out how awesome that detail is and it looks so, so 3D and you would have never guessed that that is simply just a texture. Like that just, the way it interacts with the light is so cool and I just wanted to point out how good the volumetric lighting is on that. So now that we pointed out all the vol volumetric lighting, I want to show you guys um, the volumetric shaders. So the volumetric shaders in this game um, are superb. And I know I've seen um, volumetric shaders on the Unity Asset Store and I believe for an example he was like using candles. Um, so if you've ever lit a candle 
you know that you can see the flame glowing through the wax. So that's pretty much um, the concept of this volumetric shader. So as you can see, this moth head guy has a glowing belly. And what's really cool about this is that the different parts of his body have different uh, properties of translucency, if that's a real word. Um, so you can see like around like his back and his ass, like you can still see the glowing, but you can see it even better in his belly, where his belly is presumably made of something that's just more translucent, whereas like the bones of his hip are only a little translucent. It's also a very similar effect to if you take a flashlight and put it up to your hand and then your hand glows red. So really realistic and really cool. And what's really even cooler is that this effect is both on the moth and your guy. And if I point up to this light up here, you can see how his whole body glows. So it's not just the light in his belly, it's like his whole body. So the light in his belly is just a normal light. Or at least I'm guessing it's just a normal light. And then the light up here is also affecting the translucency of his body and taking into consideration how translucent the different parts of his body are and making them glow and you, then you can see like the moth's wings glow a bunch you can see the light coming through its wings a bunch and it's like just how cool is that that um i don't know just the way light interacts with that and i also want to go outside because i want to show you just how detailed this volumetric lighting is so I'm gonna have to go through this little puzzle but when we go outside you can see in the bright Sun even more this volumetric lighting and also you will be able to see how his glowing belly you can't see it anymore because it's so bright outside so I don't know whether they just turn the light off or whether or not um, whether or not it is just that good of a shader but we are about to find out so or at least going to try to find out so skip that cutscene and here we are outside and as you can see you can't see his glowing belly and let's see if we can get an angle well there you can see when I put him in front of the Sun he really glows which is really cool I don't think his like tentacles glow but that's really cool looking and we have a little bit of a spazzy light on the moth I'm gonna guess that has to do with a combination of bloom and blur or something like that but well, I was going to have this guy walk into the shade, but unfortunately in this game, uh, real-time shadows do not affect the main character, which would have been nice, but I guess that might have wreaked havoc on the shaders. But, oh, I can see his glowing belly. It's, it's still in there. Oh, wait, at least I think. It's really so hard to tell because it's so bright out. It could be light coming from something else. Who knows, but, you know... The shaders in this game are really advanced and really cool looking and really realistic. Um, I wonder if there's volumetric lighting on anything else. Oh, the trees. The trees are definitely one. Let me fly up to this guy. Let's let's check out the plants. Let's see if there's volumetric lighting on the plants. So, yeah, some of them. Alright, so on this plant, definitely is. Because from this side over here, if we get it from behind the sun, it really looks transparent. And I don't mean transparent as in you can see the sun through it, because I think that is just a lens flare, and this particular game object, or this particular mesh probably is on a layer that says ignore uh, pros processing effects, maybe. But you can see the lens flares through the mesh, which normally is not supposed to happen. So that's not the kind of translucency I'm talking about. I'm talking about the volumetric lighting and how... It could be bloom, though. I... It's really hard to tell on those leaves. I don't think they have enough volume to them. Let's check these flowers, maybe. Okay. It really looks like it on the tree. And all I can see is the moth. And let's see if we can get a fruit. Let's see if the fruits have volumetric lighting. Oh, this camera. I don't think I'm going... Well, maybe if I fly down here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a fruit in front of the sun. And nope. Nope, there's no volumetric lighting on the fruit. That would have been a nice little touch, but then again, nobody would probably ever see it. And holy crap, the bloom is really spazzing that guy out. 
So uh, that, I wonder if that's like a combination of the volumetric lighting and bloom or something like that. But that's just, just a little bit spazzy. So, you know, whatever. I wonder if there's volumetric lighting on anything else inside of this game. I don't know, I could probably spend an hour trying to get the sun in front of different objects, but I'm pretty sure it's mainly just on the main character, and maybe some of the foliage and plants inside of the level. Like, I wonder if this plant... I can't tell. Actually, yeah, it... Uh, it's really hard to tell. It could be bloom, or it could be volumetric lighting. It's so hard to tell on the plants. I'm actually gonna guess that it's bloom. But that's just a guess. But yeah, I just wanted to point out how cool looking those shaders looked in this episode. So yeah, hopefully in my next episode I will make another interesting episode where I analyze this game. So yeah, I guess until my next episode, I'll see you guys later, and keep making games.